Shalom, welcome to our precious passion for Christ listeners. So the next couple of weeks, we're going to get to know the women of the Bible a little bit better. Let me introduce our team. It's Danelle Britz. Shalom. I'm Shanae de Villiers. Shalom. And I'm Anna Potgieter. We are studying this as we go along, so by no means do we know it all. So we are here to learn from each other, and we hope that you as listeners find this interesting. Danelle, can you start for us? Yes, so let's start with the name Eve. It means in Hebrew, Chava, Hava, to breathe, to live, or to give life. It also means full of life and mother of life. Eve therefore represents the essential life-giving maternal function of women. She's the mother of all humanity. <laughs> she is created to be Adam's helpmate, companion, or co-ruler. Hmm. Yes, yeah, she was the first human who chose independence from God, even though she had the privilege to have had a relationship with God. Hmm. Isn't that exactly what we're doing? Yeah. We make decisions and plans, and hmm. then much later we include God and expect Him to bring our plans to fulfillment and blame Him if it falls apart. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah she, was only, she was once sinless. Wow, how amazing is that? I wonder how she must have felt after eating the fruit and knowing that she chose against God's will. She had the freedom to choose and deliberately chose to disobey God. Maybe it was not so much about the sinful nature, but more about free will. Why am I saying this? We must realize that free will is one of our biggest gifts from God. Yep. And to be able to freely choose to love God, but it can also be our biggest obstacle in life. Because we can also freely choose not to obey and love God. Maybe this is the whole lesson of Eve's story. It's our own free will that can be our downfall. If we read Deut Deuteronomy 28 and 30, it's all about free will and either obeying or disobeying God's commandments. And we get to choose either life or death. Just as Eve had the gift of free will and was able to choose life or death, Blessing or curse. Yep. Yeah. Sure. He made them both into his image, like Genesis 1 verse 27 says. She was mm -hmm. designed with the potential to be an image bearer of God. Mm -hmm. Relationship between the Father, Son and Ruach, HaKodesh, or the Holy Spirit. He designed her to be in a relationship with him. So to ask yeah. him how to <clears throat> rule, how to help how to care, how to be, and how to love. But in Genesis 3 verse 1 to 7 says that the serpent, who was more crafty than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made, so the seed to doubt God. Eve's faith wobbled a bit. And she was tempted to explore her own identity and life apart from the caring and watchful eyes of her creator and father. Are we not doing exactly that? Are we not often making decisions without consulting God? Yes. Are we not plotting our own plans without trying to find an answer and confirmation in prayer or in the Word? Quite often. Maybe yeah. every day. Yeah. <laughs> we as women need to walk close to Yahweh and to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit because we can easily lead our spouse astray. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sure. Yeah, and the moment she took her eyes and focus off her creator, she fell into sin. Just like when Peter took his eyes off Yeshua, he began to sin. Mm. Once we move our thoughts and focus from God to a place of doubting what he had said and pondering about the enemy's suggestions, we easily fall into sin and the enemy gain power over our lives. Mm. <laughs> I always imagine a very loud crashing sound the moment that God's perfection was shattered. Sure. And sin entered into paradise. I think every created being, sure. all the animals looked up in yes. all that moment and they realized something changed. Mm -hmm. So we should take the warning in 1 Peter 5 verse 8 seriously. So be sober, mm -hmm. watch yeah. because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking someone mm -hmm. to devour. And then in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3 it says, but I'm afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve, by his craftiness, your minds and our minds will be led astray by the, from the simplicity and purity of devotion to Christ. Sometimes we just want to 
um, worship him in an elaborate way mm. or in, mm. you know, in mm. the way our minds function. And he's just, he just wants his way. Yeah. Mm. He's the creator and he wa he says how he wants to be worshipped. And we mm. should just mm. love that sure. about him. Yeah. Wow, that's true. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I was also thinking about he was a wife and she was a mother, a co companion, a helper, a co-manager of God's creation. Are we not to, are we not made in the same image? Should we not walk in that same authority and office that our Father ordained for us? To be a wife, as described in Ephesians 5, a mother, Proverbs 31, mm -hmm. a companion, Titus 2, a helper, Genesis 2, co-manager that we read in Genesis 1. If we could only submit and walk in the office and find our identity in our Messiah and nothing else, we will surely have victory over sin. Mm. We are blessed more than Eve, I believe, because we have the whole word of guidelines, mm. instructions and tips to be a godly woman. Mm -hmm. Eve carried out the duties of a wife and mother with no example to guide her. We only need to align our free will with his will. Amen, that's so true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something that also comes to mind is that Adam also fell by taking the fruit offered to him. So yeah, what that sure. tells me is that we as women should have a um, a very serious relationship, an intimate relationship with Yahweh, seeking counsel, yes. his counsel first um, and mm -hmm. then that of our husband. So it's important to have the more intimate relationship with our Creator, focus on his word and his character. So what we learn is that communication is so important between husband and wife. Mm -hmm. Adam could have reminded her it was wrong to eat the fruit, mm -hmm. but he didn't. Yes. Sure. Um, I also think she realized the mistake when they were expelled from being rulers over paradise. Eve still, even though they were um, dispelled from the garden, she believed in God's character because she knew him. He was walking with him in the garden. And um, she believed in his promise. So she, be she believed he would bring forth a redeemer from her. And um, when her son was born, she named him Cain, which mean means gift from God. So I don't know about you guys. Eve teaches us to seek with our hearts, all our hearts, to know God intimately. And yes. to learn his wisdom <clears throat> and to gain knowledge from his word. And to learn from evidence in the word that he's faithful and that we can trust in his word. Yes. Um, sure. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because mm -hmm. anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Sure. Wow. And how do we love God? According to the word, if you love me, obey my commandments. <laughs> so it's just so simple. Yeah. And we want to make it a lot of, yes. we want to make it about us, what's comfortable for us. Yes. And um, God knows better what's good mm. for us, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, for yeah. sure. And what I'm thinking of is just like, how awesome, how awesome had it to be like um, for for Eve to to bear her firstborn, In, just um, sure. yeah, just just one person, her and her husband, and with yeah, Abba's wow. guidance, mm. she she done it, and she was sure. a great example for us to follow. Mm. Yeah, the mother of all creation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So, am um, I? Are we gonna um, close down in prayer? Yes, we can. Is there anything else that any one of you wants to add before yeah. we go? We... we are good. Okay. <laughs> okay, Father, we come in the mighty name of Yeshua, your Son, and declare that you are good and your goodness and mercy is everlasting. Father, help us to be good, God-fearing, God-seeking, God-loving women. And help us to tap into the faith that you um, installed in us when we were born. And to build it up so that we would be found pleasing to you and to your heart. We ask this in the name above all names. Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Amen. Thank you Amen. listeners. We talk to you again this time next week. Shalom. 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 <laughs>